Hey folks, uh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> this is my like, sixth attempt at trying to record this. Basically, we are going to do a custom campaign. Um, well, when I say custom campaign, it's a loosely termed custom campaign. This is uh, Cost Yarrick on... Um, I can't remember what the website's called. It's the... Of a webcomic compilation place because I think they share the word hive. I honestly can't remember, but uh, it's like a Warcraft 3 custom campaign site. Uh, Cost Jarek from there, uh, Cost with a K, uh, put together the orc tutorial missions for Warcraft 3 as well as 3 4 uh, missions from the Warcraft 3 demo. Which which covers uh, Troll and his men's journey from Eastern Kingdoms to Kalimdor. So I'm doing that here because um, otherwise the war here is never mentioned in in the main campaign. For uh, before this used to be uh, these missions used to be available within the Frozen Throne. It's a custom campaign, but for some reason a uh, recent update removed them. So if you want to do it, you have to do it this way, As, uh, or you know, get the demo, or find someone else who has the uh, you know put the website the, the these missions up to download. You know, there's um, it's one of those ways. You know, don't really have much of an option. And uh, due to the way actually they are put together, it's like a little custom campaign. Uh, well, 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 it's like a little campaign, like you can. You're like, oh, Artis has, you know, the boots of elfishness, and in next mission he still has them. Same here. In the two uh, orc tutorial missions, you get, do get a few items. You can carry them into the missions from the demo because of this. So sadly, you can't continue those items into the main campaign. Disappointing. Um, you may notice down there uh, the most southern name, Azeroth. That, uh, that was the you know, the Kingdom of Stormwind. Like, Stormwind's in there, but that's uh, the name of the kingdom at this time, Azeroth. Uh, for some reason, you know, that gets changed to the name of the planet. While, personally, probably keeps thinking of it as a planet's name, maybe it could, could work as a kingdom's name. I'm not sure. In either case, I don't know why, but they did change... They did retcon that. Like, like I said, from the kingdom's name to planet's name. I don't know why, I don't know when. Maybe in time for WoW, or maybe it was in one of the war books, and they kind of went with that. I have no idea. Uh, like I said, Stormwind is in there. It's the capital of Azeroth, but, yeah, you know, it's Kingdom of Stormwind's called Azeroth at this time, for some reason. Um, I have no idea, uh, no details you know, I'm like, what, you know, when the change happened, why the change happened, or anything. It's as much mystery to me as it is to ye. All I know is it happened. So, yeah, it, just to explain, you know, why, you know, Azeroth is there instead of, you know, Stormwind. Um, old, old War, basically. So, um,. Yeah, I think I made my point there. I explained what we were doing. Uh, the, the re oh, the reason for the abrupt cut there in the previous video was the Tink Flash desktop, and I was a little paranoid about that. So, um, explained the abrupt cut. I explained what we're doing here. Uh, we're doing the Orc tutorial missions quickly, and then we'll be doing the um, missions from the demo to explain some war. And I also explained the Azeroth thing. Yeah, think think I covered everything. So we'll just do this nice and quick. For honor. Very good. The path to the next banner leads through a black area. Notice how the black area Racist. as Thrall moves through it. This reflects areas you have explored. Select Thrall and order him to move to the banner in the middle of the encampment. Lotar, my warriors. 
We are yours to command, Watch. Now prepare yourselves. I sent a no. Oh no, not a no. Whatever will we do? Click on the attack button. In order to have Thrall and his troops move together, you must first select all of them. I wonder if I can just move in when the grunts to the um Um, to, to those points on the ground. Um, Order your troops to perform an aggressive attack move into the enemy encampment. To do this, uh, and just have Troll, you know, just keep running. Or does he have to hit those points? Whenever you click on the hero. War Chief, we've discovered a group of Murloc raiders in the nearby river. The Murlocs would make excellent targets for your new chain lightning spell. You have Thrall use his new ability. Some monsters drop treasure when they are defeated. Treasure chests hold powerful magic items. This particular treasure chest contained a useful potion of mana. So yeah, I'm just running through. I may miss items here, but I'll, I'll be fine without them. Potions of mana can be used to replenish the hero's mana. The magic energy that allow the cast of spells such as chain lightning. Uh, I can control it from here. But yeah, I'm just trying to get through this as quick as I can because... Be wary, my warriors. Don't let nightfall dull your senses. Uh, yeah, I just want to get this done as soon as I can because we've already done this before. Potion of healing. And the sooner we get this done, the sooner we can move on. And see the newer stuff. Currently low on mana. Use the potion of mana to refresh Thrall and provide him with sufficient mana to cast additional spells. Yeah. Mm, no. Yeah. I see utterly no need. No. There's no items across over here, is there? Attack. Nor do they sleep at, at day either. For honor. Hmm. For honor. Okay. Look, oh. Narok. Attack another one. Okay, Dog. move. Hey. Excellent. Thrall has found a magic ring. And keep going. These are very useful because they provide a constant passive. Like, I just want to get through this as quickly as I can, but I don't want to miss items. Because they'll be useful, you know? Uh, but in either case, these won't really matter t to when we go to the back to main campaign. I'll have whatever I had at the uh, end of the tutorial mission there. I still can't believe they were ever a part of the horde. Um. Yeah, are we, like none of these will carry over. We'll just go with whatever we had at the end of the uh, main game prologue. You know, like the the this mission and the one after it. Whatever I had at the end of that will be what we will have uh, when we start off the orc missions again. Center on you. Manual of Helped. Fifty extra points. Very good. That treasure chest held a magic tome that can be used to give Thrall a permanent benefit. Oh, well, there was no chest. And they say they disappear after being used, freeing up inventory slots. They make it sound like it was a potion that I, you know, got and just, you know, used immediately. Yeah. Strange. For honor. I wonder if that's something like the old tool tips or For what? Yeah. But the old device or what? Profit. And okay. Skip it. Move on. 
Yes. Still, still not the. Uh, the blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been opened. To find out more about your objective, click on the quest button. Do we really only have one guy? Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Hmm. Here are a few additional peons to so, increase the rate of gold. I was wondering. You have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. You place a rally point. I can't remember what I was going to say. I'm just kind of uh, just got startled by this. Like it was just like, do I seriously have to wait that long to get more people? And I just completely forgot what I was going to say. Doesn't matter. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. Training a unit takes time. When your great hall is selected, you can see a progress. In order to support a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. I don't know how they provide the food, but sure, why not? Then again, how do ziggurats provide food? How do... The only thing that makes sense is the farms. And maybe another building, but yeah, it's just Ready to work. strange. Now, structure button in the command card. Notice that additional buttons are now available in the command card. To construct an orc burrow, click on the build orc burrow button. Ready to work. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. Once you have As you can see, with uh, how orcs build, they are actually sheltered by the building. You can't actually target them. You actually, you have to kill off the building. Ready to work. Something you're doing? So, that is a benefit towards orc, how orcs work. Over, say, uh, peons. Okay. As uh, peasants. Yes. Uh, this here. Okay, you're stuck. Back. Yes. I can do that. Back. Something to do you see buildings with this model in WoW actually, which is nice. I think you can also find some of these as well. But yeah, you can find some with this model as far as I know in WoW. Which is a nice little touch. Well, it does like to carry stuff over, which is good. Contain various upgrades that can be researched to improve your troops. To see what we need more gold. We need more lumber. I am the watch. Oh, and here is a thing that you will see in um, Frozen Trope Hero Damage. Uh, heroes do uh, reduce damage to fortified armor. Hmm. Annoying. But, um, yeah. That is a new type introduced then. Chaos has also been remastered. Now that your barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce um, your army. So that it does full damage to all types. And we do have hero armor in the, uh, base game, don't we? If we don't. They take reduced damage from bad, uh, from piercing, magic, siege attacks, and spells. Now click on the train grunt button in the command card. Research complete. Down here. We'll uh, handle the uh, enemies in a mo. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. I am the war chief. Yeah. Mm, well done. Uh, I'm curious, is there anything on this map? 
Like we already know this stuff, so don't feel too bad for just activating cheat. My life for the Lord. Right, these ships are mechanical and invulnerable. Research complete. I'm curious. Can we see the prophet chilling out anywhere? Can we even see it? Okay, there's just a random graveyard over here. And it's completely inaccessible. Completely inaccessible. Um, yeah, it's Rian here to write about. Go here. I see dead people. Oscar worthy performance right there. But yeah, you can call all uh, peons into the burrow, and they'll defend the base. I think the more peons you have in there, the faster they, this goes. Um, and if you don't have any in there, it won't attack at all. We're under attack. Um, but with peons in here, this screen changes, and you can't conf easily conf you can't confirm the damage it's doing or how fast it is. So. You know, yes. bugger if I know. Yes. Look, regard. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. Good. They really do give a little money. Scroll of healing. Attack, attack, attack. And I'll actually include a link in the description to the uh, where I got this um, little compilation, actually. I it feels spo sporting to do so, so. Um, just look below and you'll find it. Or my, if, if this is the second episode of it. Yeah, pro probably at least on the first episode of this. Uh, when I say of it, I mean, say if this was at the tail end, it start, uh, I started this at the tail end of an episode, that episode will at the very least have it. Um, this one might have it. it. To be honest, it all relies on me be, not being an idiot and forgetting. So yeah, that's, that's all my point is. It's just simply, I'll put this in the description. Uh, um, but just I may forget. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um, sadly, my head's like a sieve. I'll try not, but um, I make no promises. My life Damn, they're good. Violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Krom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Look, Tarogar! Come, my warriors. We must drive the humans back. Sorry. I've been just thinking about what I said and thinking, did I even make the slightest ounce of sense? Basically, I'll try and remember to put the uh, link to the website where I got this in the description of the video. Um, at the very least, I'll, that link will be in the first episode of the videos covering this. 
little compilation. The wretched humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. Um, at the yeah, at the very least, it will be at the first episode of. Um, sorry, my mind is now blanking. Yeah, it will be at the first episode of the compilation vids, at the very least. I will like to put it through all of them, but just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I, if I remember, I'll put it in the description for all of them, or at least one of them, but I may flub up. If I do, just poke me in the comments, okay? I have no problem fixing it, fixing that up for you. So, yeah. That's all I was trying to say. I've got ahead of a sieve. I'll try and remember, but I could be an idiot and forget. That's all I'm trying to say. And I don't know why I had such issue trying to say it. Yeah, I'm just still thinking through, and it's just like, where did the issue come from? I'll try and rem I'm just waiting to get more grunts, so that's why I'm blabbing here. Uh... I'll try and put the link in the description. I might forget, so poke me. Yeah, I don't I don't see where I'm having the issue. What do you want? Okay, one more. Back here. One of your structures was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building. No wasn't the peon. Click the repair button and then left click on the desired structure. My life for the Lord. So yeah, oh that makes sense. I, I'm always just worried like am I being this in the slightest bit coherent? But yeah, no, I for once I, I think I was. This is why I like writing. Because I can just, you know, sit down, have a look at what I'm saying, and I can make it sound right. When I'm just talking off the cuff, my uh, social anxiety kicks in and I become very, very worried that I'm not making the slightest sense of sense. Your army has grown to such a large size that it now requires a portion of your income to sustain it. This maintenance cost is referred to as upkeep. We're complete, Master. Double. We're complete. I'll even break down the scout tower. May as well. Yes. No regard. I can't. For honor. Normally we don't get these pop-up names, do we? I don't think so. Let's kill this sheep. I'm suspicious of it right now. Oh, no. Wasn't hiding an item. Hit it. Yeah, I don't remember seeing those po names pop up before. So, uh, yeah, that's something for uh, Warcraft 3. Uh, sorry, not Warcraft 3. The uh, Frozen Throne. You know, make you know, actual correctly naming the thing. Oh yeah, uh, at level 3 Spirit Wolves, they get its Critical Strike and Invisibility. Which is very nice. Okay. Make some more. Uh... Oh, nice. They pop out automatically, so we don't need to attack it. Good, good. 
And purge is a good a way of getting rid of summoned units. Not that you ever really face many summoned units in the campaign, really. When you control multiple spellcasters at the same time, it often becomes necessary to quickly switch between them to cast their individual spells. By using the subgroup interface, you can do so without having to try to select them individually. To see the spirit wolves, they have heavy armor and do 11 to 12 damage. Of course, this is going but according to Frozen Throne. It seems uh, seems like fr some Frozen Throne. Um, the, uh, you know, Frozen Throne um, details. Is there an over here? Don't think so. Over here, come on. Actually. Actually, wait. I pointed out a thing earlier that was um, a change thanks to uh, Frozen Throne. But what, what did they even point out? I actually completely don't remember. Something you're doing? Well, I pointed out the names popping up. Oh yeah, I po pointed out to the hero stuff, uh, this and whatnot. Uh, was there any other? Ch I I'm not sure if there's any other changes to this, like, or is this the same as the normal thing? Beyond those. Hmm. Fuck if I know. To be honest, I don't even remember what started this off, what precipitated it. To be honest, this would have worked much better if the tree towers were just here. Still wouldn't have saved them, but it would have worked better. Actually, curious. Attack. Wonder if you can force his appearance early, or wh what would happen if you break the broke the cage he was in? Okay, now we got those two done. Now let's get on to the new content. Took way longer at that than I intended. Uh, chapter three: Riders of the Storm. As Tron and his companions set out for Kalimdor in their fleet of stone ships, they were set in the open seas by a sudden fierce storm. Prevent ships from taking a heavy pounding. <laughs> Troll orders the fleet to seek shelter in the cove of a nearby remote island. It was lucky we happened onto this cove. I don't think our ships would have held out much longer in that storm. Warchi, half of the ships are missing, and the rest are badly damaged. We'd better get settled then. We may be on this island for a while. War Chief, I sense strange magic all around us. <sighs> there is the source of your magic. Someone is watching us. It is you. I saw your arrival in a vision, especially you, the seer. Or is it just my old mind playing tricks on me? Looks like this troll's been on the island a little too long. We're real enough, old one. My name is Thrall. I be Sengen, leader of the trolls. This island used to be ours alone. No more. You and your friends must be careful. The humans established an outpost on this island some time ago. Humans? Yes, they hound us day and night. Their patrols be all over the place. Not be long till they find you too. 
Well, I'd rather find them first. We can't risk their patrols alerting the outpost about us. Look tar, my brother. We're moving out. Good luck, my friend. I got important matters to tend to. I'll be seeing you soon. And now we got two trolls helping us. I want you to keep uh, uh, trolls, uh, trolls thing in mind here about the uh, you know find the humans first. You know, keep that in mind. It just he makes a, a di different comment later on and compare and contrast. Also, here's pillage causes grunts, uh, pe peons, grunts, raider, and uh, peons, grunts, and raiders attacks gain resources when hitting enemy buildings. What do you want? Okay, go here. Ready to work. Be happy to Over here. It just seems like four is a good number here. Yeah, four is a good number. But yeah, we now have raiders, which are the uh, horde siege unit, and they are pretty fast. They they do have catapults. The horde does have catapults and whatnot. They do have a you know more slower, heavier hitting siege unit, but they also have raiders, which are a faster one, which is nice. Here is the head, troll headhunters, which are their basic uh, ranger unit. Island trolls. Let's destroy these. Okay, grab this. Attack. Call Tyrus Marines. Huh. Don't really get to see much of that, you know, uh, Call Tyrus in uh, much Warcraft stuff. But though we are going to get to see it in Battle for Azeroth. That's gonna be fantastic. Just to finally get to see the place, because we've seen like little hints like this. Jane is from the place. We've seen like little, like we little bits of the place, and so far as we've seen people from it, we've seen uh, maybe you know something to do with it like that, like you know some of its marines, maybe a, an alcohol that's apparently from the place, but we never get to see the place itself. So it's great that we we're going to. Okay, back here. Uh, we need more lumber. Hmm. Don't really have anyone actually working on lumber right now. Ooh, you're here. And we can get a quest off you. May as well do so. Ooh, tainted fountain of life. And we can get the catapults here as well. Vine of purification, seed of expulsion. Troll legends speak of the cleansing power derived from the berries that grow on this rare vine. Ogre Magi and two Ogre Warriors. Well, down here is a Thunder Lizard and two Lightning Lizards. And uh, only the most gifted witch doctors possess the skills needed to produce oil from this uncommon seed. Was extracted, they're all is capable of expelling harmful properties. Okay. The one issue with having a ranged hero is that when it, you have a melee unit, it's like uh, sent to auto gather on him, the, the melee unit will be kept out of the fight. Set, setting a ranged unit, unit on a melee hero. We'll make sure the ranged unit will get into the fight, though it may jeopardize them actually living. So you kind of got to be careful with them either way. My life get that, get we that. More lumber. Okay. 
Come on. Just a little bit more. Literally, I need one more. Could send them back early, but that really does doesn't feel right. Okay. Attack. These are surprisingly light attacks. You know the uh, I was saying how this used to be um, like how should I phrase this? When I'm on the main menu, like I'm going to select this custom campaign, it keeps Mark calling it voiceover. There's a reason for that. Uh, it's called voiceover. Uh, uh, it's marked as voiceover because I think in some iteration of this. Uh, of these maps, uh, like from this Storm Riders of Storm or what, you know, this map on for the rest of the campaign, they had no dialogue. Uh, well, they had the lines, they had the lines here, but they had no voice files. Like they, you could get the subtitles so you could follow along, but they had no uh, actual voiceover for it. That's why it's marked for voiceover. But I can't remember which iteration didn't have the voices, you know? Was it the main game version or the demo version? And, ooh, here's another troll over here. To be honest, I kind of lost my train of thought there, so now I don't, uh, I've, well, I lost my train of thought there, so now I don't remember what started off me off on this train of thought. Not sure if I want to get any shamans. Uh, I will get a uh, bestiary though. Is it beast? Yeah, it is bestiary. And you know what? I'll grab a spirit lodge because I can. Let's move out. Okay. What, uh, what do you have over here? What's your shtick? Um, Let's get on. Nothing. So you're just a unit I can recruit. Here's some humans. And elf. Chain Lightning really isn't that great right now. Bit of AoE damage, but I, I'm just too used to that coil. Okay, Tome of Agility. Sadly, you know, this won't carry over to the um, main game. Sadly, but them's the breaks. Oh, is that just soil? Okay. Uh, I started looking like there was meant to be a unit there or something. Okay. Grab ye. Uh, 180, uh, 180 gold, 40 timber, a uh, tree food, a uh, highly mobile wolf rider. It's effective against buildings, can learn the ensnare ability. We need more gold. Yes, the spirits are restless. Attack. Now, now that I can see these sentry wards, I cannot could attack them if I wanted to, but I won't. Ooh, nice. Him. Would that mean that the like artist couldn't res him or nor could he necromancer? Hmm. Good to keep in mind. Okay, we've grabbed that. Attack to here. Attack to here. Okay, attack. 